Dan, first of all, let's look back at Saturday's game against Kilmarnock to begin with. Do you think in the end a point was a fair result? Yeah, I think probably a point was probably a fair result. Um, I think we probably could have nicked it at the end with Effie's chance. Um, and I don't think that would have been undeserved. I'd probably say first half they set a lot of traps. We tried to play out maybe too much. They set a lot of traps. And then second half we changed the formation. I thought we had a lot more of the ball. Probably didn't do quite enough with it to say we deserve to win the game. But overall, I'd say a point was fair, but we could have nicked it on another day. As you say, the change of formation in the second half gave us a, a bit more of control in the match and allowed us to create more opportunities. Talk us through what it was like on the field in terms of how you felt those changes maybe impacted the match. Yeah, first half I thought they pressed us fairly well. Um, they set up well. And then second half, the manager obviously changed things and I felt as though we made the pitch bigger. We obviously had two people up top um, and I thought we had a lot more of the ball than them. Um, on the pitch, it felt comfortable. I never thought they were going to score. I thought if someone was going to win it, it would have been us. But again, I don't think we created too many clear-cut chances. I think Dom had a couple when he came on, um, Effie's chance. But apart from that, there wasn't too much. Like I said, we had a lot of the ball, but not doing much. But obviously, there's a lot to build on. And uh, going into Saturday's match, it'll be a totally different game against our broth on a smaller, tighter pitch. But we need to go there and we need to show the same commitment and we need to walk away with the three points. I guess when you're in one of those games and you don't maybe create as many chances as you would like or, or get the goal that yeah. you feel you deserve, then making sure that you keep a clean sheet and taking something from the game is the next objective. So. Is that a big positive for everyone to take into the Saturday's game against Arbroath? Yeah, 100%. I think you look back at the game and I think Jakob had one save to make first half, which was the free kick, and one the second half, which the right back, I believe it was, hit a good strike. But apart from that, he's, he's not had anything to do. So you can see defensively we're, we're very sound, we're very solid. So it's just, again, creating chances going forward and, and winning football matches. But I think you look back at the last seven games, apart from the Morton game, we're not conceding goals, which we were maybe the first half of the season. Um, but we do need to start maybe creating one or two more chances and, and putting chances away. And uh, I think if we do that, we'll start winning football matches more often and, uh, and not draw so many. In terms of yourself, you obviously had to um, take uh, some time out in self-isolation. Yeah. So in a way, you were probably slightly glad that the, the Patrick Thistle game was, was called off and it gave you a chance to get back to full fitness. Yeah, definitely. So, I mean, I tested positive on the Friday night before Kilmarnock. So the morning I was fine and then the night time I had it, which was a nightmare. So I had to do seven days and I was going to be involved against Park Thistle. Um, but obviously it was probably better that I got called off. Um, but yeah, played a bounce game last Tuesday and then played Saturday and felt fine. Uh, just ran about and tried my best as always and uh, whatever happens, happens. In terms of Saturday against our both another team right at the top of the table and a side that we haven't really been able to get the better of this season so far. Um, how um, do we change that on Saturday when we go to another tough venue? No, I think we've got to go there with the motivation of we've been tinned over three times by them this season. There's no getting away from that. Um, I think they've scored 10 goals against us in three games, which isn't acceptable to anyone. Um, yeah, they're doing well. Yeah, they're having a good season, but there's no reason we can't go there and, uh, and beat them. And I truly believe we will. Um, we need to go there with the same attitude as we've played the last couple of games, with a bit more quality. Um, and I think I think we'll do the job. But we need to use obviously what's happened the last three games against them as motivation to go there and uh, first of all match them without the ball. I think that's the most important thing. And then hopefully our quality will shine through and we'll, we'll get the three points. We've obviously over the last few weeks picked up points on the road and made good performances as well. Um, I suppose it's again trying to build on that, again knowing that we can go to an opposition's ground and, and play well to dominate the ball yeah. to create chances, score goals. Yeah, I think since the start of the year, so back at the Wraith game, we've only lost two games out of the last seven. One was Kilmarnock and the other was obviously a, a terrible display away to Morton. But apart from the Morton game, like I said, we're not conceding goals, we're probably not scoring enough, but we're just drawing too many games, so I think it's just taking them chances, um, creating a bit more and we'll turn these draws into wins and if we can start doing that then, then we'll be fine.